record. We're good. <laughs> good. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Emmaus Borough Council meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll have personal appeals part one. If you have a personal appeal, please sign in, state your name and where you're from, and, and you have five minutes for your appeal. Uh, good evening, Council. Uh, my name is uh, Craig Smith, and I reside in the Mass. And I don't know if this is the right forum or not, but uh, I'm basically here because I have a neighborhood issue. Uh, it involves uh, our neighbor and a smoker. And essentially, our house is getting filled with smoke on occasion. And so we've tried to basically solve this, and we're still being peaceful. Uh, but I want to know if there's an ordinance or, you know, is there anything that we can do as a resident, you know, we're trying to be a nice neighbor, but basically uh, that's the issue that we're having. So, uh, you know, if anybody here can help me out. Uh, Mr. Solicitor, do you know of any solutions? I do, uh, well, I do, uh, I do not know of an ordinance other than like uh, burning leaves and things like that. Um, let's start with this. There's two kinds of nuisances, and that's uh, one is a public nuisance and one is a private nuisance. It, it usually amongst two people, it's a private nuisance, and unless it violates an ordinance or a statute in some way, uh, it, your remedy is to get a lawyer and sue them and stop it under the nuisance law. Uh, okay. Uh, if it is a public nuisance, then we can get involved, and usually there is some kind of ordinance or statute to address it. I will look for you, but my initial reaction is, you're probably best off seeking help through a lawyer, sending a letter to these people, telling them to cease and desist. If they don't, then you have your remedies under the nuisance law. Uh, I know that's not what most people want to hear. They want to hear, we, we, we can take care of it for you and uh, no problem. But in all fairness, some problems, neighbor problems, are private and you don't expend public money to remedy that. If it is a, a public harm, then you do. And so it's a very, it's not a clear cut sure. issue, but I will look at, at least I will look and see what it says about smoke. The problem here is you have cigarettes, which are totally, or cigars, which are totally legal. I assume that's what you're talking about. No, I'm actually talking about like a, I'm not talking like a, like a grill that we probably all have, like maybe a gas grill or a charcoal grill. I'm talking like a smoker, where you actually smoke your meat. Yeah, oh. the, the new uh, kind. So you, they, this thing can smoke for hours. We all thought yeah, you meant, yeah. you, you we were all smoker. thinking. I thought you meant a smoker. Oh, like a, yeah. No, that's a big distinction. I'm sorry I didn't, I, you know, I was I'm not here all every time, so I'm a little nervous, but. Uh, so we do have an ordinance on, on uh, grilling. It has to be so far away from a building, uh, a structure. And, and uh, from anything that can burn, uh, I believe. Did, did you list your address? Yes. Yeah, it, it's on your... Uh, Could you repeat, please? Uh, it's uh, 1345 Arch Street. And I'm assuming that it's <coughs> one of your direct neighbors? Correct. We're, we're in a townhouse development, so it's pretty close. Okay. And, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's not like we haven't been communicating with them. My, my wife, Gloria, I mean, she texts you know them and say hey you know we're getting smoke in our house and it just I don't think they're getting a message is what I'm trying to say if, I'm trying to do this peacefully if oh. we go down there we'll be able to locate it pretty easily that probably would be a public nuisance well, I'll have to look but, but, we'll Mr. To look. but Mr. Demick we also have the uh, the burning ordinance yes that governed uh, uh, different kinds of burning and distances from right, properties right, and houses and is it, yeah well it, it, as well as other other types of yes of, of items, so. Is a smoker underneath a, a roof or anything, under a patio porch or something? No, it's on, it's on a deck. Uh, I mean, it's something you can buy 
commercially, uh -huh. Home Depot or anywhere like that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we have enough information now that we can look into it and. I'm yeah. sure. Would somebody be in contact with them, Shane? No. Well, I would need I would need their their phone number and phone stuff. number. Yeah, um, one of us can call. What's your? Well, can, if you don't want to give us your number to, out loud, well, you can just yeah, drop it we off. Can give it off the record. I could e even leave them here. I guess. Uh, I, Is that all right? One uh, of us will get back to you. Yeah, it's fine. Go yeah, ahead, you, can, you can you can write it on there. Okay, and thank you for your time. Oh, thank thank you. you. You know what? Don't don't put it on the piece of paper. Okay. Don't put it on the piece of paper. In, in all in all fairness, I was thinking. I thought you were talking about smoking, and then I thought, yeah. oh, is he talking about marijuana <laughs> smoke? And then I thought, <laughs> no, is I'm, he talking about I, I, somebody it, burning outside trash? I mean, I, no, I, I, yeah, smoking is very generic. I, I, I didn't clarify it. It's actually like a, a smoker grill. So. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else with the public appeal? Hearing none. Does anyone have a community minute to bring forward? <coughs> no? Hearing none, there's no special presentations. Reading of the minutes. Would like somebody like to make a motion to Approved the January 2nd, 2018 meeting minutes. <coughs> Councilman Anders, seconded by Councilwoman Baumgartner. Questions, discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I'm abstaining because I wasn't. Uh, one abstention. Six right. ayes, one abstention. You're here for part of it. <laughs> You're hanging okay. out in the room next door for you. I mean, I heard all of it. I, I mean, I just wasn't in attendance during the whole meeting. Well, you had them that review. So. Yeah, I, I did look over them. I'm so you want to go I? I'm fine. I. All right, yeah, seven eyes. <laughs> if if we're back to seven eyes. <laughs> Historically, if we haven't been here, we have abstained, so that's why. I, I've read them. I, I mean. I've missed the meeting already and watched it online and, and, and voted to approve okay, the minutes. So. I'm good with it. I was, <laughs> all right. We have no decisions on bids. <coughs> Excuse me. Under communications, we have a request for a reappointment to the Arts Commission by Linda Waddell. Uh, we will address that now. Would somebody like to make a motion to reappoint Linda Waddell to the Emmaus Arts Commission with a term expiring February 1st, 2018? Councilman Anders, seconded by Councilman Schripsta. Questions or discussion? Councilman, Councilwoman Baumgartner? Um, so the term expires February 1st? Oh, I'm sorry. So is it a three-year term? This has 18 in it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's when it expires. Yeah. I don't know what her term is. Is it three years? No, good, good catch, Mrs. Baumgartner. They are... Rookie's trying to make us look good. Three-year term. <laughs> bad. Good, bad. So it would be two... Uh, 2021? 2021. Okay. All right, fair, so we never let anybody go, so <laughs> they don't know what their terms are. <laughs> Keep them in the dark. <laughs> so the expiration of the term is February 1st of 2021. Thank you for catching that. Um, any other questions for discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. We received a letter from the Kiwanis Club for the annual Easter egg hunt at the community park that will be handled by staff. That's something that's been going on for many years. Uh, we received a request for reappoint, no, appointment to the Board of Health by Jeffrey Baker. Uh, is that being voted on tonight? Uh, yeah, uh, since you, I mean, we, uh, I spoke with, with uh, Mr. Schiff's about it and you know, the feeling is since you interviewed him for borough council, we're not sure how much more information you're going to get out of him. So okay. doing an interview is not going to really draw that much more information. Yep. All right. So I'm looking for a motion to appoint Jeffrey Baker to the Board of Health with an expiration of January 1st of 2022. Councilman Schipsta, seconded by Councilwoman Baumgartner. Uh, questions or discussion? Councilman Dufresne. This isn't the next one is a resignation. We're not to do one before the other. This is for a completely open seat or what? Completely open. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, we have open seats there. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a five-person board, and we're, well, what we're you, not full. What you see with Dr. Burmeister is he's the um, our our uh, our ordinance uh, requires a uh, physician, so that's why you see right after Dr. Burmeister, Dr. Ratner. Okay. Uh, applying. Any other any other questions or discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. There are seven ayes. Uh, like uh, Shane said, there is a resignation from a Dr. David Burmeister. Um, <clears throat> so we got a letter of resignation from the Board of Health, which expired on January 1st, 2018. So his term expired. Um, in their next letter, <coughs> Dr. Aaron Ratner. Um, requests appointment to the Board of Health with a term expiring January 1st of 2023. Would somebody like to make that motion? Councilman Shipsta, seconded by Councilman Dufresne. Any questions or discussion? Uh, we did interview Dr. Ratner. Um, Dr. Ratner, <coughs> um, just for the record, uh, is the emergency room physician. He actually volunteers as, uh, uh, on, our, on our ambulances. Uh, we, we actually appointed him as a volunteer sometime last year, and he's actually very active. Um, good guy. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Shubbs, if you want to talk about the interview, I mean, it was an impromptu thing. He, he showed up here no, he was, 20 minutes before the council he, meeting. He seems so we, very excited um, to, uh, to come on board. Uh, we discussed some of the uh, goals that we're looking to do this year that make some changes to the Board of Health, and he seems to have a few ideas. So I think he'll be a very good uh, add to the uh, board. Councilman Anders. Did we vote on the resignation? We I don't, don't need to vote, vote on the resignation. Don't you don't vote on it. Oh, yeah. okay. Just accept it. Okay. I'm just making sure. Sorry. That's fine. Any other questions or discussion on uh, Dr. Aaron Ratner's uh, appointment? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. <clears throat> we received a request for reappointment to the Emmaus Arts Commission from Richard Farmer with the term expiring. Uh, so I need to know when that one is Arts Commission three years. Well, if it's, yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to go 2000. So February with the term expiring February 7th of 2021. So would somebody like to make the motion? Council Councilwoman McManaman, seconded by Councilman Barrett. Any questions or discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. There are seven ayes. We received a request for reappointment to the Emmaus Planning Commission by Michael Gibson. He's been on there a long time. Uh, also, let's see. It's four years. Four years. Four years. So we're going April 1st of 2022. Would somebody like to make the motion? <clears throat> Councilman Shubsta, seconded by Councilman Anders. Questions or discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. There are seven ayes. Uh, we received a request for appointment to the Board of Health from Nigel Watt with the term expiring January 1st of 2019. So that's an open uh, term right now. Correct. This will be the first time, if you appoint him, this will be the first time this board has been full and well, since I've started here. Oh, uh, yeah. Since I've been on. Yep. Yeah. So, I think. <laughs> So that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Um, so would somebody like to make the motion? Councilman Anders, seconded by Councilman Shipsta. Questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. I also received a letter of resignation from oh, yeah. Nancy O'Keefe. Um, <coughs> it is with a heavy heart that I must tender my resignation from the Board of Emmaus Public Library I must take this step because my food business requires that I travel on Tuesdays, making me unavailable for the meeting. <coughs> it has been an immense pleasure to be a member of such a vibrant entity in Emmaus. I have enjoyed my time as a trustee and a collegial atmosphere of our meetings and wish I could have served a longer <coughs> tenure. Thank you for the opportunity to serve. I wish you, the trustees, and everyone else at the library a very happy and healthy 2018. Best regards, Nancy O'Keefe. So we wish her the best of luck. Please send a letter. Um, 
thanking her for her service. Sure. She just got reappointed. So. Um, we also received the borough event form for the Snowblast Winter Arts Festival. The only action we need to take on this <coughs> is the fact that they're going to have alcohol in the triangle. Is that correct, Shane? Correct. Um, Mrs. Uh, uh, Councilwoman McManaman can actually speak to the entire event for us. Okay. I'll turn it over to Councilwoman McManaman. So we McManaman. have um, the Main Street Partners again hosting, along with Triple Sun and Yergis being the resource of alcohol. We have the in insurance as well as the liquor license. Would you like to place that in a form of a motion? Yes, please. All right, we have a motion from Councilwoman McManaman. Is there a second? Councilman Shipsta, any questions or discussion? Councilman Anderson. Is Anders. that going to be like <coughs> in the, uh, the fountain? Is that what they're building up around again? Do you know? Or where are they going to be? They're, they're inside the fountain again, but it, it'll, it won't have a tent. It's too cold and during the winter now to, okay. with the sun. So. But built? it will be in the fountain. I've already met with John Dashala, uh -huh. and everything will stay the same. Okay. Thank Anyone you. else? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Those abstaining? I'm abstaining. Councilwoman McManaman is abstaining. And you'll have a little, where are they now? Oh, we have a little form you have to fill out for the reason that you're abstaining. Uh, that concludes <coughs> communications. We have no borough engineer's report, solicitor's report. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we had an extensive meeting today between uh, Mr. Pepe and Mr. Yaust and myself concerning uh, the LCA. It turns out, after all this time, that there is a 1972 agreement with LCA and a 1986 agreement with LCA that have uh, was never, to our knowledge, I've never seen it till recently. Uh, so that uh, was discussed in detail. I will be now issuing another version of my memorandum can, after reviewing, and well, we reviewed it after analyzing the changes and the impact of those uh, agreements on, uh, on the <coughs> issues, and because it's not just one, on the issues with Allentown and LCA. I'm pretty, still pretty comfortable with our position, but I want you to be aware of it. I was just going to say, Jeff, is it better, worse, or indifferent? Uh, I can't tell for sure. I would say it's probably indifferent. Okay. Thank you. Progress? Oh. Well, so, so with that said, we, <laughs> we have another meeting with LCA, Island Town, and all the signatories next week? The, I think it's Wednesday, the 15th, uh, 17th. Oh, this week? That's yes. Great. Uh, whatever. I, I, I go one hour at a time on my calendar. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then uh, our big meeting with EPA is coming up yes. next week. Oh, I didn't know the date. I think so. Okay. Please, we never well, we'll talk it. about yeah. that. It, it, the, the, the issue is so complex that you would almost need a huge flow chart to truly understand how this works. We have people coming into our municipality. We have spots going out. We have some people who are not going through meters. We, it, it, it's just it's an amazing setup. That's all I can say. Anybody else? Questions for the solicitor? Progress? Progress. Thank you. Uh, unfinished, unfinished business part one, we have none. New business is just uh, for informational purposes, ordinance 1170 with the rezoning. We will address that our first meeting in February. <clears throat> unfinished business part two, we have nothing to address there. Items not on the agenda. Does anybody have anything to bring forward? Hearing none, Mayor's report. Madam Mayor. Progress. You want to go home, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's been here all day painting. <laughs> oh. Committee reports. Um, Public Works Chairman Anders. Um, nothing for official action this evening. Our next meeting is February 21st at 3.30. Progress. Thank you. Health, Sanitation, and Codes Chairman, uh, Chairman Shipsta. 
Uh, yes, uh, we took care of the uh, first two issues uh, for appointment of Jeffrey Baker and Nigel Watt to the Board of Health. Uh, our next meeting will be scheduled for January 31st at 4.30 p.m. Council Chambers. I report progress. Thank you. Parks and Recreation Chairman Baumgartner. Um, we had no official action. Our next meeting is, where, when is it? Okay, it's like, okay, February 6th, thank you. 4.30 p.m. Progress. Thank you. Public Safety Committee Chairman Dufresne. Nothing for official action. Our next meeting is February 13th at 3 p.m. Progress. Thank you, General, General Administration Committee. That, that's myself. Uh, our next meeting is this Thursday at 9, 9 a.m. here in Council Chambers. Uh, I report progress. Budget and Finance Committee Chairman uh, Barrett. Yes, we met at 6.45 this evening. Uh, we have one item that requires official action. It's the bill list, resolution 2018-5. And I will place that in the form of a motion. We have a motion by Councilman Barrett. Is there a second? second. Councilman Dufresne, questions or discussion on the bill list? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. There are seven ayes. Uh, and there are no other items that require official action progress. Thank you. Community Relations Planning and Development Committee, uh, Chairwoman McManaman. Nothing for official action, but the next meeting we will be talking about the vision, goals, and potential product projects for CRD. The next meeting is Thursday, this coming Thursday, January 18th at 4.30, uh, progress. Thank you. We have no minutes for boards or commissions, which is where they are normally listed, uh, which brings us to personal appeals part two. If anybody has a personal appeal, please approach the podium. Seeing none, we will move to the borough manager's report. Um, significant revenue and expense items for the first half of January are in your iPads. Uh, if you have any questions on those. Um, <clears throat> Mrs. Snyder will be finishing up the end of year numbers uh, in the next week, which will allow Mrs. Yandel to start putting together your nice little yellow notebook um, that each of you get. Uh, Jen Ed, we have a lot to go through on Thursday, so. What's a three hour um, meeting? Plan on at least two and a half, probably. Okay. Um, we have uh, Field we can, at Indian Creek will be there. If we can get Wes to stop talking, uh, we'll get yeah. through it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Fields at Indian Creek will be there. We have a couple personnel things to go through and some decisions that were made um, uh, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. So plan on okay. plan on a busy morning on Thursday, guys. Plus, uh, we haven't met for a month, too. Right, which is why you have a busy meeting. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, other than that, I'll report progress. Uh, Shane, can you just... Give us an update on what happened with the uh, the fines for the trash, just so sure. everyone's um, on the same page here. So, uh, as you know, um, I personally witnessed our garbage hauler combining recycling and refuse together. Um, we went and counted 80 houses that it would have happened at, and we fined them $50 a house. So there's a $4,000 plus dollar fine that we took off of the last bill. We made their president of the company aware of it. Um, they made it clear that some people were going to lose their jobs. Some people already have lost their jobs. Um, their general manager and their operation manager are um, very uncomfortable at this point, as they should be. Uh, I made it very clear to them that they better be at the next health, sanitation, and coach <coughs> committee meeting because we're going to be discussing their future in detail as to whether or not they're going to be remaining in the borough. Um, so if they don't show up, then, well, they may have lost an $800,000 contract. Uh, I mean, it's as simple as that. Just out of curiosity, uh, to, to let you know that I believe Waste Management awarded its workers a $1,000 bonus, all of them. Nice. All right. That moves us to President's business. I have nothing. Motion to adjourn. Councilman Barrett, second by Councilman Dufresne. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Meeting adjourned at 725.